The history books have glorified Abraham Lincoln and the Emancipation Proclamation for freeing slaves. But if we're being real, this only applies to slaves who live near Union lines where they could flee their plantations and take advantage of opportunities in the North. Around half a million black people managed to do this. These black people freed themselves. Juneteenth or June 19th is a powerful moment in black history. Dating back to June 19, 1865, the day when Union soldiers led by Major General Gordon Granger went into Galveston, Texas with the news that the Civil War was over and Texas's 250,000 slaves were now officially free. This is two and a half years after Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. In those two years, black people's newfound freedom was rejected by white people. General Granger bossed up and issued an executive order to the Texas people proclaiming, all slaves are free. This involves an absolute equality of personal rights and rights of property between former masters and slaves. And the connection heretofore existing between them becomes that between employer and hired laborer. And Juneteenth was born, our Independence Day, our 4th of July. Of course it wasn't black and white like that. We weren't free. They just announced it. This new freedom sparked a violent backlash from white people. Surprise! Former Confederate soldiers still in uniform and with guns intimidated black people continuing a new form of slavery. They did this by murdering, lynching, and harassing the free slaves. None of their intimidation tactics stopped our ancestors from accepting and celebrating their freedom. And they celebrated this defiantly because you know back then white people were hating. The first public Juneteenth event took place in 1866. Former slaves read the Emancipation and Proclamation, something pretty gangster to do in the 1860s South. They also sang spirituals and played games. The freedmen and women of Texas took their celebrations wherever they went. Los Angeles, Oakland, Seattle, Chicago, and Virginia, you name it. By the 20th century, Jim Crow laws were in full effect and freedom started to feel like a foreign concept and Juneteenth celebrations were few and far in between, but the fight to freedom had to continue. In 1968, the Poor People's March brought new life into the holiday. It's been over 150 years since Juneteenth was first celebrated. In 1980, Texas recognized Juneteenth as a state holiday. In 1997, Congress recognized June 19th as Juneteenth Independence Day. Don't you think it's time we recognize this as a national holiday? With barbecues, music, and dancing, this day is meant to be a celebration. But June 19th is not just about celebrating freedom. It is about the battle for equality that so many African Americans from 1865 to now have fought and continue to fight for. It is a chance for all of us to honor black lives from the past, the present, and the future.